form of art in the sense that English language ultimately facilitates personal expression and it allows people to communicate and exchange ideas with you. And it is in this exchange of ideas that I am able to express myself. So whether people realize it or not, that's what everyone does too, express themselves through the use of the English language. It's not that hard to learn the subject because we've been speaking the language since even before we entered school, so it's quite easy to learn it, it's easy to grasp the concept. English is the most spoken language around the world and I think that you know it's really required to to be used in whatever we do in or anything we do in the Reading books help a lot, from the way the story is written to, le to learning new words. Just by reading a book, you can learn many new things. It's much more fun than reading a textbook and doing a worksheet. I personally improve my English through debating, and it trains me to have a more conscious control over my speech and to think before I speak. Moreover, because debating requires much general knowledge, I read a lot of books on world issues, and through reading, I learn how to properly format ideas and arguments, as well as proper punctuation and grammar and such. But because everyone learns differently, I won't advocate that everyone starts reading books on international relations or whatever. But I do think that everyone can learn from reading, be it non-fiction books or fiction books. I think that English is not a subject you can study for, except for the formats of letters uh, which you need to remember. And I think the most important thing or the key thing is uh, you must listen in class and don't be afraid to clear your doubts with your teachers because after all, the teachers are there to help you. There's not much to study for for English, so as much as you hate to hear it, just listen in class and do your work.